Hey, Rocket Rolls coming at you from the good, gorgeous Anne Arundel County. Yeah, yeah, I'm Anne Arundel. Um, out on a little sightseeing Sunday morning ride on the, what is this, a 2020 Honda Africa Twin manual transmission, 1100 cc. I don't know, I don't remember how to rattle off the numbers and specs like I used to, which tells you I ain't been making enough videos. But um, I'm still playing around with this new camera, still playing around with this new mic setup, and it's not really where I wanted to be. So I guess I'm just going to have to keep putting the videos out until I get it where I need it to be. But um, I am... Uh, I'm not going to tell you where I'm headed, because I should be there in the next minute. Go over a couple of ridges, and you'll see exactly where we are. But, um, out here riding, enjoying this morning. It was funny, I was on the Notorious Facebook this morning. If you read the sign, then you know where we are. And, um, and if you look straight ahead, you'll see where we're headed. But, um... I was on a notorious Facebook this morning and some little motorcycle group, Maryland motorcycle riders or something like that. And um, somebody was talking about how they hadn't been able to ride this week because of the rain. So, you know, there's people commenting, rain this, rain that. I'm just sitting there thinking what I'm thinking. I said it. Dude, go outside and ride in the rain. It's not that bad. And it's weird because, you know, and I get it. I've been that person. People, I don't know what they think is going to happen if you ride in the rain. Like the bike is just going to slide out from under you or something. But um, quite honestly, it's really not going to happen. I mean, it could, theoretically. Yeah, sure, it could. And practically, I guess it could. But that's not how it works. The traction on the bike is pretty much the same in the rain as it is when the asphalt is dry. You're much more likely to slip because you hit some oil or some other slick um, fluid on the, on the ground while you're turning. You're much more likely to drop the bike because of some action you took with the front brake. Um, you know, the basic stuff. You know, don't speed in the rain. Don't speed in the dry. Stop speeding. Um, I don't know. So anyway, my advice to the dude was, hey, dude, go out and ride. And you know, because there had been some forecasts for rain today, the expectation was it wasn't going to be, you know, good weather for riding. But lo and behold, it is beautiful out here this morning. Um, it's early. It's still about 7 a.m. And um, it's about 70 degrees, if just barely 70 so you know it's really nice out I came out for a ride decided I was going to come and take a look at the bay here I am at North Beach um, I'm going to make a right soon I don't know where I want to turn uh, any, well, any one of these turns will work honestly what is this they're building Oh, that sucks. And then the road's closed. Um, what are y'all building? Mm, hope it's worth it to be blocking people's view of the beach. That sucks. That'd be hot. How does fish grease if I bought something and then with a view of the water and then somebody came and built something up tall in front of me blocking my view of the water. They did that on the job. All the office space that had views of the Potomac and now I'm blocked. Here's Plaza Mexico restaurant. Need to come check that out. Hmm. It says stop. Is this tone pedestrian only? No. Just a crosswalk. Okay. This is gorgeous. See? See the things that I get I do for you guys? Oh look at the oh the bird. I need a picture. OK, 
Okay, let's see if we can get this picture. Oh, he moved. Crap. Oh, wow. So apparently the music won't play when you're pressing video on the phone. Don't think I ever really realized that. Hmm. That's okay. Let's get this video. It looks so quiet and peaceful. I should have been playing the music my way. And then the music comes back on when you stop the video. Cool. Nope, hold on. Bird coming through. Good morning. Okay, none of it was quiet. I'm going to have to clip all of that because that was so quiet. I'm just realizing I'm on the north side of the pier, which is usually not where I come. So wherever that new building was, they must have been building that in front of the pier. And that sucks, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it'll be nice. I'm saying it sucks. Maybe it'll be nice when they're done. Cut these people some slack and act like they know what they're doing because I don't know. I clearly don't know what's happening. Good morning. So yeah, I need to go back down and figure out where's the best place to park now. 
in this new scenario. Also try not to disturb these folks. Well, let's see. Some more birds on the water. Now they went under. Oh man. Okay, this is weird. I'm just discombobulated. But let's see. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go back down here. So that pink building down there is where I wanna be, I think. That says do not enter, that's one way. Okay, this is where we came in at. So let's go back around here. Hook and vine, kitchen and bar. I think I ate there before. I think it was good. I think. Or city sliders, I don't know, one of them places. I ate at one of them places and it was good. Okay, so. You know what this used to be? This used to be the parking lot. Okay, so you can't turn down there anymore. So what are they doing? Okay, here's the parking lot now. How do we get over there? Oh, this is some sh crap. Okay, so maybe I can turn down there. I really don't know what they got going on here. Um. turn here. Okay, this is two-hour parking. Still two-hour. This is resident only. This is two-hour. So I can park right here. Let's try that. We're just going to be very trustworthy and leave the gloves and stuff out. Oh, I got to take off the camera. Okay, so let me walk over here before I take the helmet off. Like I said, we're over here at North Beach on Bay Avenue. And I'm still not now. The pier's over there to the north of me. So you can't just drive straight to it like you used to be able to. I guess I've parked in, I could have parked if I was in the car. Um... The main thing I wanted to do from here, which I didn't come prepared, I might come back out here later today with Nicholas. Um, this appears to be an osprey nest right there, and I wanted to get some good shots and footage of the osprey nest. I really can't believe that they put the osprey nest that close to the pier. But we're going to try it and see. And if that is an osprey nest, which I really do believe it is, this looks like an ideal location to get some shots of some osprey fishing. So I hadn't heard about it. Anybody else talking about doing that here? But I believe this is the case. There's a duck. So we're gonna we're gonna check this out and see if this is a good um, site to get some photographs of osprey fishing. There's two birds on the nest right now, and I suspect that they would be whatever you call them, the little baby ospreys, oslings, or whatever. Um, cause I would ex suspect at this time in the morning if their parents, they're out fishing right now. So we're going to pay attention to that. And this is definitely worth another visit to come back out and see what we can do. All right, I'm getting hot with this helmet on. So I'm about to take the helmet off and I'm going to stop filming for a minute. Rocket rolls over and out. And Rocket is back. Let's see here. So I did a little bit of walking on the boardwalk, kind of figured out what is this new setup. There was some parking around the corner, but no point in moving the bike. Um, I realized that there's actually been a 
some nesting going on over there over the osprey nest. And it looks like you get a great shot of it from the pier. So we're going to come back out here to the pier with our photo equipment and see if we can get some good shots of these baby osprey. I don't know if they fledged yet. I'm not aware of there being a camera on this particular family of birds. Could be. I don't think I realized that these shops were over here. I didn't. As many times as we've been out to this pier, I did not realize these shops were over here. Um, sometimes we'll buy like snacks or whatever. Or even at this restaurant was such a short walk. I think we would have come over here and spent some money had we realized how close those establishments were to the pier. We might need to come back out here today. I don't know. Let's see what Nicholas is feeling like doing today. I'm going to turn down this way. This isn't, yeah, this is it. All right, well, we have seen the bay. We've seen some birds. I don't know why I'm so into the birds thing, people. I just am. I don't know. Um, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to ride for a ways with the camera on as I head back to the gorgeous Prince George's. But I'm not quite sure how much of this video I'm actually going to include when I post. I may throw some music on there and just, you know, anybody wants to watch it, let you watch it. Rocky Rolls. Don't want to say over and out. I really don't want to say over and out. All right, y'all, I'm just going to ride. Just going to ride. Let's see what this looks like. That's First Street. Okay. All the people are out walking. Enjoying this beautiful Sunday morning. It's gorgeous out today, folks. I almost want to go put the bike up and go for a walk. So apparently... Oh, I didn't... I don't have video footage of this. But there was a whole lot of traffic on the Capitol Beltway yesterday afternoon and apparently Ed Sharon was at FedEx Field which is you know a couple of miles up the street from him and Nicholas was not aware he was like can we just go up there and see if we can listen from outside I was like yeah we probably would be able to hear from outside uh, but uh, uh, nah we didn't go that's been that would have been a good time to figure that out. I mean, I'm interested in knowing. I was supposed to turn my signal on for this. Bad driver. Yeah, it looks like if we come back, it's going to be crowded. Folks are starting to get up and come out. It's going to be warmer, definitely. I don't know. Maybe, maybe wait till next weekend. But I want to catch... Um, Kind of more closer to sunrise. I know where I parked. It said no parking until 4 a.m. So apparently you can get up at you know 3:30, come on out here, park a little after 4, and get some sunrise shots. Back in the countryside, this is going to be a really beautiful ride home. The sun's on my back, which the video footage of coming in, the sun was in my face. It was still low in the sky, so it wasn't so bad. But with this, we're getting some good footage with the sun on my back, which should come out a lot clearer. Something's flapping. Am I not strapped properly?
hot. This is feeling good in the shade. Get some air. And I've got on long sleeve, well I've got on a t-shirt and then I got a long sleeve shirt over that. And then I've got my um, Kevlar, I don't know what you call it. It's really Kevlar under or under your jacket, but I, you know, when it's really hot in the summer, which it wasn't this morning, I usually just wear this alone. And anyway, three layers, one of which is Kevlar, means you're hot. <laughs> 